Isotope's RX5 Audio Editor is a standalone application that provides specialized tools for editing and enhancing your audio for film, television, broadcast, and more. RX5 can import and convert mono and stereo files from 10 common audio formats and 5 video formats, all while preserving metadata so valuable timing and tagging information isn't lost in the edit process. Simply drag a file right onto the interface, select Open from the File menu, or choose Open With from your Finder or Windows Explorer menu. If you select or drag multiple files, they'll each open in different tabs within RX, so you can easily move between them. Inside RX, your audio file will be displayed as a spectrogram, a graph which represents time on the x-axis, frequency on the y-axis, and amplitude as brightness. This allows you to vividly see the spectral content of your audio. You can also view the traditional waveform, or a blend of both, by adjusting the slider to the left just below the spectrogram. There are a handful of tools to help you zoom and navigate around the spectrogram. There are zoom in and out buttons, which function just in the time domain. And you can also do this by using command on a Mac or control on a PC, along with the plus or minus keys. The magnifying glass with a square around it zooms in on a selection area. The magnifying glass with opposing arrows zooms all the way out to view the entire file. The empty magnifying glass is the zoom tool which allows you to select an area in the spectrogram and zoom in or zoom out by holding the Option or Alt key. It's also possible to zoom in the time domain by using the scroll wheel of your mouse when the cursor is over the spectrogram, or by moving the slider just below the timeline on the right. Whenever you zoom in on a section in time, you'll notice a box in the waveform overview just above the spectrogram, which indicates what's currently seen in the spectrogram. The edges of this box can be dragged to change the visible area in the spectrogram, and you can click and drag to move through the file. You can also move through the file by clicking and dragging on the timeline below the spectrogram, or use the grab and drag tool right on the spectrogram or waveform. If you need to zoom in the frequency domain, there's a vertical slider just to the right of the spectrogram, or you can use the scroll wheel over the frequency axis. Much of the power in RX Audio Editor is the ability to make selections right on the spectrogram in the time or frequency domain. There are six different tools for making spectral selections. The Time Selection tool makes time selections across the entire spectrum. The Time and Frequency tool lets you make rectangular selections across time and spectrum. The Frequency Selection tool makes selections of frequency areas across the entire timeline. The Lasso tool lets you outline large freeform selections. The Paintbrush tool lets you draw freehand selections. If you click and hold the Paintbrush icon, you can adjust the size of the brush, or you can also just hold the Command key on a Mac, Control key on a PC, and use the scroll wheel while you have the Paintbrush tool selected. The Magic Wand tool can automatically select harmonic material. When using this tool to click on the spectrogram, it will select the most prominent sound in that area. Click on an area that is already selected, and it will select the harmonics of that sound. The Harmonic Selection tool can also be used to isolate single harmonics above a selection. With any of these tools, you can hold down Shift to add to selections, or Option or Alt to subtract from a selection. You can also hover over a selection to display the grab hand, which will allow you to move that selection around in the time or frequency domain. You can preview a selection by clicking on Play Frequency Selection in the Transport Control. Once you've made a selection, you can now process just that selected area using any of the modules listed on the right of the RX interface to edit, repair, or enhance your audio. For example, here we have the sound of a whistle over a concert recording. <laughs> We can use the magic wand tool to isolate the whistle and its harmonics. If we press the delete key, it removes that audio completely, which will compromise the sound of the music. However, we can use the spectral repair module on this selection to automatically replace the whistle based on the sounds around it.
There are a number of keyboard shortcuts that can help you access these tools quickly. You can find them in the help documentation or set your own shortcuts in the preferences window. You'll also notice a button labeled instant process. This enables instant process mode, which allows you to use any of the selection tools to immediately paint away problems in your sound. To use that whistle example again, we can enable instant process, select replace from the processing menu, and use the magic wand to click directly on the whistle that we see in the spectrogram. You can always undo or redo any of your processing by stepping through the undo history in the lower right hand of the RX window, or just using the familiar command or control Z and Y functions. If you make extensive repairs inside of the RX audio editor, you can save an RX doc of the file, which will preserve all your undo history so you can modify them later if you need to. When you're ready to export your audio, just go to the file menu or press command control E to export your edited audio out as a WAV, broadcast WAV, AIFF, FLAC, or AUG file. 